Welcome to the Naples Hotel in Naples, New York. This building has a rich history dating back to the 1800s, with 10 guest rooms, a restaurant, and a basement bar. It offers a perfect setting for a paranormal weekend getaway. Visitors have reported encounters with spirits like Topper, along with whispers, flickering lights, and other unexplained phenomena. When you have a town this size, it's easy to succumb to small town rumors. So what's the truth? I'm the owner of the Great Naples Hotel and uh, purchased this in March of 2020. Right when COVID hit, and we took a couple years to update the accommodations and try and get it back up to its working order. Renovations always seem ripe to ramp up activity. While we were fixing up the place, we did notice that some more activity was occurring. There have been regular occurrences of tobacco smoke, sweet tobacco smoke in different areas of the hallway. I was here one day by myself working in the office and I heard some doors closing on the second floor. And we confirmed with the cameras that nobody had been walking through the hallway. There was nobody else there. And Guests have stated that they've heard children running up and down the hallway. Some doors when we first purchased the place were locked. That was unusual when we had the key. Um, some guests seeing stuff move in the restaurant. I was cleaning up the downstairs and out of the corner of my eye, I saw somebody walk up to me. So I turned my head and there was nobody there. <laughs> that freaked me out. <laughs> I remember a Thursday morning put away, putting away our paper order in the basement and clear as day, I heard a lady's name or a lady's voice call my name, Michael. I'm terrified of the basement. I don't really go in there alone unless I actually have to. I always have one of the kitchen staffs go down with me. People have stated they have seen a Civil War soldier standing at the very top of the basement stairs. Let Mike go in the basement, like he can have the ghost, <laughs> like honestly. When I first started working here, I knew that the place was supposedly haunted and I did kind of offer my piece to them and say, hey, you know, we're here for good things. We want to put the hotel back on the map. I think the spirits are happy here. They hopefully are happy with the improvements that we've made. We are working towards creating a, an experience for anybody coming to the Finger Lakes looking for a great place to eat, drink, and stay. For the people that actually are looking for paranormal activity, we present this and allow them to kind of poke around and explore and hope that they uh, find something interesting. But if they have no interest in that, they just have a great stay. When I first arrived during the day, it was very comfortable and inviting. And I don't think that's going to change at night, but we'll see what happens. The Delaware Suite is awesome, um, but I heard Brian is staying there tonight. You know, let's see how he fares.